and with no time on the clock for a 22-yard touchdown reception and puts his team in position to tie this game with a two-point conversion. Now that two-point conversion attempt, Flynn dropped back, threw a fade pass to the left post, and it was caught by Johnny Quinn, but Johnny Quinn, the defender, pushed him on his way out of bounds. He was unable to get his second foot inbounds, and with the new rule, there is no more force out by a defender. A defender has to actually carry the receiver out of bounds for there even to be a judgment call. And so the two-point conversion was no good. The Packers lose by those two points. But like I said last night, it was an enjoyable loss. It wasn't great in the middle, but to see a guy like Matt Flynn go out there and put his team in a position to win this game was really exciting. And that was the bookend to the most exciting game of the preseason, really, for all intents and purposes. I was up out of my seat at times. When the interception came, I was cheering loud. I was waking up the kids, waking up the neighbors. It was just a good time uh, to be a Packer fan. So surprisingly exciting for our preseason finale. I had talked about what our goals should be, and I want to go over those quickly. Um, we did remain relatively injury-free. Juice Costin and our long snapper both had knees, I think, that we haven't heard exactly what the story is on that. but So relatively injury-free. One problem, no Ryan Grant. Ryan Grant did not take a snap. Coach McCarthy said afterwards he did consider putting Grant in for another series or to take a few uh, handoffs in the game, decided not to do that. So no Ryan Grant. I really wanted to see him. In fact, our rah-rah moment on Monday was that he was just going to run it up. Uh, didn't even get the ball in his hands. So it didn't happen the way we had hoped. Our defensive, uh, For our defense, our linebackers, Really, like I said, they played out of their heads. These uh, second-string guys uh, really deserve a lot of credit for how they played in a situation that was really going to test them going against the first string. So I think overall this final preseason game gave the coaches really a lot of headaches because some very good play. But at the same time, I think there were a couple players that did punch their pink slip, so to speak, uh, Jarrett Bush, I can't imagine he's going to make the team. Also, I I just really, again, want to say I think Aaron Rouse deserves the chance at starter over Nick Collins. He had another fine night in coverage. He was behind on one pass that I don't know if it was his exact assignment or if they were playing zone coverage at the time. They usually play man-to-man. -man. So, you know, it may be that he is making a few decisions, just not a little bit behind. But, boy, that kid deserves a chance if anyone does. And, really, I don't think Nick Collins is going to be the playmaker. He, I think he had another interception possibility that he dropped. I'm not sure about that. But uh, it's, I think it's time for a change in that regard. So that is sort of my opinions, my wrap-up of the final preseason game. And as, uh, as of our 10 o'clock two-a-day tonight, we will be wrapping up two-a-days for the season. This is the preseason finale. The two-a-days go along with our preseason to keep you informed. And so tonight we will go over a general rundown of the entire preseason to finish up two-a-days for 2008. But don't let that get you down. There will be plenty of opportunities to come back right here on the Packer Link Up with more link casts coming your way, video blogs and whatnot. Uh, I will announce more, give you more information on that tonight at the 10, during the 10 o'clock edition and try to, but definitely, keep perusing the site because you will see uh, that, uh, that uh, my face pop up again. And if you can stand looking at me, there will be more information because there will always be news out of Packer land. Um, so, um, until tonight, 10 o'clock, we wish you well. Enjoy a very good showing by the Green Bay Packers and a very promising our team looked as deep as we thought it had the potential to be. And we, I think, are going to need that depth this season, regardless of whether you're talking about quarterback. We may need a, a quarterback to step up. We are going to need maybe a linebacker to step up, a couple of safeties to step up, cornerbacks may be in and out. So look for a good season from the Packers. We all hope that's the case. And I think this final preseason game gave us a lot to hope for really in another regard for those uh, guys that are trying to make the team 
and that may not get a lot of playing time, but if they do, may be very important for us to keep winning streaks alive during the season and in any run for the playoffs. So we hope to see you back here tonight. And until then, uh, as always, go Pack!